What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. Today we are going to be embarking on an interstellar journey with Mass Effect Andromeda. So I've really been looking forward to this game and I'm going to be honest, I've never played a Mass Effect game before. And I know they're legendary, they're iconic, like everybody always has such good things to say about the Mass Effect series and for whatever reason... I've just never played it. I'm not sure why, but we are going to change that today. So, uh, in Mass Effect Andromeda, it follows either a male or a female character you get to choose named Ryder, and you are a... What do they call it? A, a pathfinder, I think? Basically, you are leading a team that's looking for a new place in this new Andromeda galaxy for humans to live. Apparently, the Milky Way galaxy just isn't cutting it anymore. I'm not sure the full backstory. I'm sure we'll find it out, but it sounds pretty interesting. So basically, we are going to a new galaxy where we're the aliens, and we're kind of impeding upon the local people's land and obviously they're not going to be happy about it so all sorts of weapons and powers and abilities and stuff like that that we're going to build on and build our skill sets and stuff throughout the series and uh, it's going to be really cool i'm really excited about it hope you guys are too smash that like button if you guys are really appreciate the support in this first episode and uh, let's go ahead and hop into character customizations so i don't want a quick start i want to see what we have available here for character customization oh look at this I'm honestly really surprised I haven't played a Mass Effect game before because it seems like everything that's right up my alley. Like, I, I love space, I love fighting, I love shooter games. Like, it's just, I, I don't know how I've never played it before. Like, this looks amazing. All right, so uh, first up, we are going to be choosing our gender. Oh, it looks like there's, uh, there's only two options. There's no attack helicopter option. That kind of disappoints me. Oh, well, anyway, we're going to customize our appearance here. There's a default appearance, or you can... Wow, you could completely customize the appearance. So we're gonna change up our head here. Try to look, try to look for something that looks somewhat similar to us. I think so far head two is gonna be the best option. Choose training, security. During your alliance military service, you focused on learning everything you could about weapons and tactics. You get a starting power of firing a heat seeking high impact round to knock down opponents. Turbocharge combat fitness. There's biotic. Hurl an opponent through the air. Create a vortex will trap enemies caught in its field. So that's like wizard stuff. Technician unleashes an electrostatic discharge. Deals high damage to shields and synthetic enemies. Can chain multiple targets. Mm. A leader. Energy drain. Oh wow, you drain your target shields to replenish your own. That sounds pretty good. Scrapper. And then operative. Invisible for a short duration. Gain a large damage bonus when you break cloak to attack. What? I like that. We're going to go with operative. All right. Choose our name. So our last name is going to be Ryder. No matter what happens, your last name is going to be Ryder. But um, I'll go ahead and... Ooh. We can change our first name. So we're going to do that on our keyboard. Looks good to me. Trevor Ryder. Customized twin. So I guess it's the Ryder twins. So let's see here. Let's make her really hot. All right. So we're. Can I can I make Chelsea in here? Maybe. I don't. I don't like the pulled up blonde hair though. You know what I mean? Like I like hair down. So like I think ah, I don't know. I guess we could go with the blonde. I don't know if I'm, I'm really particularly feeling any of these. None of the, none of the women in this really look all that great, but we're going to go with the blonde hair, blue eyes, I guess. All right. looks good to me. And, um, I mean, we're stunningly handsome there. Let's go ahead and confirm and start the game. Here we go. We're going to be on normal difficulty and let's get right into it. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, 
we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. This looks awesome. Holy cow, what is that thing? In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look to even more distant stars. For the 100,000 adventurers embarking on this one-way voyage, the future begins in... Andromeda. Woo, here we go, guys! Ah, we're gonna be spearheading space exploration with a Lewis and Clark space. 634 years later. Hyperion. It's kind of a cool name. Got 20,000 human colonists on it. it. Looks like we made it to Andromeda. Oh, so we were putting we were put into like hibernation, deep sleep, frozen essentially, it looks like. So we didn't age at all while we were traveling. Kinda like in past news, Chelsea and I watched that recently. It was a really good movie. We made it. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. <laughs> Ryder, recon specialist, Pathfinder mission team. Pathfinder team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda. Our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Ooh, tone choices help define a writer's personality. Emotional, logical, casual, and professional. Easy is no fun. It's what we train for. I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settled down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said, mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Caffeine always did make me jumpy. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, shoot! Ugh! <sighs> 
Went out. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Try to brace yourself. Gravity and cryobay is offline. Uh, careful of the I'm almost inside. Hold on. This is Cora. I'm at the cryobay. Brace for a reset. <clears throat> Everyone okay? <sighs> I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Our Sarah sister. Ryder. Oh, no. Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. When can she wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. Well, that's good. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Right. Man, that's kind of scary. The door whenever you're ready to go. Her revival process was interrupted. So now she's still in that deep sleep. We're gonna keep her in a coma. You ready? What's wrong? Got a surge in power. Something is dramatically wrong here. Hey, up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power loader, it could explode. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder can find it. He has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the vault. Oh, how do I use my scanner? I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Hey, I'll well, try to get on that. I'll override the staples. Got it. This equipment is operating normally. It has to be here. Hurry. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? Sure. I can try. There, it's reset. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Well, we just saved everybody's life there. Got to remember that scanner. We can use it to scan anything. It's pretty cool. Was closed. Okay. Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Oh man, I have to choose here? I'm gonna let the captain do her thing. She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. 
We're coming through. Our dad's a badass. God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown. Oh, that's scary. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go check out Habitat 7. Stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. Looks very um. What's that big dark thing right in the front face that we're looking at, dude? Does not look good. Not a place I'd like My to visit. Gonna but... hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get started. Well. Don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. All right. right. You'll want to get Here your helmet. Go. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition that you dad. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Can't leave without your pistol. Oh, it's back over here. So we're starting with just a pistol. The M3 Predator. Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? <laughs> I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir. We broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud of both of you. Where's mom at? She not come on the trip? Stay okay, on Earth team, or what? Listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. 
When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Dude, I just got... I got a little tingly sensation there. That was kind of a... Been waiting 600 years for this. Cool quote. Imagine going to sleep on a spaceship and waking up 600 Our years later. Knowing that like six generations so have gone so by. Nobody you ever knew. Good luck, Pathfinder team. Apart from the people on that ship, were alive. Like they were long gone by hundreds and hundreds of. That's so crazy. Turning to Vector One Three Five. Got me that. We we're on point. Wow. Will you look at that? Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so. Steer clear of it. Get some shop here. Gravity anomalies detected. See if I can even it out. My stomach would appreciate that. <laughs> We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. We go, entering the atmosphere. Hang on, initiating atmospheric entry. Here we go. Flight guidance is scrambled. It'll pass. The controls are fighting. We're through. Holy. Shuttle 2, are you seeing it? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum. Is this the right planet? We have this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. <laughs> Look, port side! That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. We got hit by lightning. Oh shit! Acceleration increasing. Oh my god! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! Approaching terminal velocity. And now we find ourselves stranded on an alien planet with no ship. This is Ryder. Come in. No contact. Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. 
Come on. It's a sunny day, but it's right lightning. Up. How's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra incognita. All right. Some of these plants look like tentacles. It's the There's a communications no relay. Fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our sound connection. Oh, and safety tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. Dude, this game is beautiful. Holy cow, it's I think that beautiful. energy cloud we saw could cause all this. Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on, we gotta get through it. This is crazy! Welcome go, go, go. to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Now all the buttons here. I think I can see a path up. We we'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach. Think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. Then crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. It's gonna be close. That's it. We're getting there. Almost made that. Not quite. I think I see the top. Mind making some room? <laughs> Thanks. What the hell is that? job to figure it out that sounds like your old man talking he was right something went wrong here we have to find out what one thing at a time right up in front Fisher. of our ship wait look what the heck I mean, personally, I think this, but I feel like we have to listen. Take it easy. We only get one shot at hello with these guys. Yeah, and Fisher gets shot in the head if we're wrong. Nice and easy. We only go hard if we have to. Don't think they've spotted us yet. Dude, this is terrifying. Oh my God, shoot! He sees us. We can't understand you. We're not here to fight. That man's with us. Get him soon. Doesn't sound friendly. What's the other guy doing? Weapons up. He was kicking our boy in the face. That's not chill. Okay. Sorry, buds. It's over. Bishop, you okay? Uh, so much for making peace with the locals. Thanks for jumping in. 
We tried talking. I guess they didn't want to listen. What else could we do? You've saved my life. Yeah, at least we know it's what. The brochures were light on aliens who want to shoot your head off. <laughs> we still don't even know what they wanted. The way they treated you? Blood samples, I'd say. Lots of them. Who says we even understand? Or they'd understand us? It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Oh no. Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs>